With an increasing population, it's important to harvest the wealth of our oceans whilst ensuring that they're being looked after in a smart, safe and sustainable way. The Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute at the University of Southampton is using new engineering technology to collect and create data which can have a big impact on our everyday lives. We went to the university to find out more. Our oceans are vast and hostile, but they are also an important resource. We rely on them for food, energy and raw materials. They host transportation and communications networks, produce oxygen and absorb CO2. Here at the Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute at the University of Southampton, new methods for collecting, processing and interpreting huge amounts of data about the oceans are being developed. The Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute is really a community of researchers across the University of Southampton from all different discipline areas in partnership with other research institutions, industry, government organisations, NGOs and communities. And then we can harness that breadth of multidisciplinarity, cross-sector and international capability and expertise to really address some of these global marine and maritime challenges. This collaborative approach is leading to the development of machine learning using unique algorithms. A lot of people have an idea of what a boat should look like. We, ha we design boats very similarly to how boats were designed in the past. These algorithms have no preconceptions about those designs. So they design things that are very unique, very different from how we might traditionally do things. The other advantage is they're very rapid. So an algorithm can design a boat in, say, in an hour and you can have a look at the picture and understand what it looks like. You have a full model so that you can actually zoom in and look around the boat and understand what it looks like. Many of the more experimental structures look to nature for inspiration. Some of the stuff I work on is designing new types of underwater vehicles, things that are more biological in their nature, and those things could be really helpful for doing things like surveying these new offshore wind farms and things like that. The University of Southampton is in a great spot for doing this sort of things. We have one of the largest supercomputer clusters, so we can use that resource. We have a brand new tank where we can do all kinds of marine and maritime experiments, and we have uh, world leaders in trying to develop the theory for physical systems and for artificial intelligence and machine learning. Out in the ocean, robotic subs map the sea floor in incredible detail, and machine intelligence is used to rapidly build up our understanding. The information we collect is vast. We collect tens to hundreds of thousands of images in a single dive lasting 24 hours. So to actually keep on top of this information and understand it, normally teams of scientists would process it for up to a year to identify all the patterns and build their insights but we're able to generate similar kinds of insights in a matter of days. So what we are measuring is from here to here how long... The use of artificial intelligence, machine learning and big data in the marine and maritime industry is relatively new. The next generation of ocean engineers will need to be familiar with its application. The undergraduate engineers in this lab are learning the principles of fluid dynamics, but whilst they're here at Southampton, they'll also learn the importance of data processing and harnessing technology to better understand and manage the ocean environment. Ocean research requires investment from and collaboration with various partners, and the Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute is proud of its strong connections with industry. In 2015, Lloyd's Register, which certifies engineering and safety standards, moved their marine headquarters to the university's Boulderwood Innovation Campus. Well, the Institute has a number of great characteristics. One, it's populated by high quality researchers. Southampton always scores very well when comparing research-led universities. Another feature is, is the equipment and investment the university has made in uh, it, large experimental facilities, which is one of the things that attracts top quality researchers to the university. And another is that the SMMI covers all of the, uh, the maritime aspects of every engineering discipline that is relevant to the marine and maritime industry. As the global population increases, the pressure on our ocean's resources is growing. The Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute uses industry collaboration and multidisciplinary expertise to gather information, interpret vast amounts of data and test practical solutions. This will allow us to better understand and utilise our oceans whilst protecting their long-term health. <laughs>